Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for another quick how-to guide. Today we are taking a look at Absorbing Man who is quickly becoming one of my favorite champions to play with. He is easy to learn, very very fun to play once you get used to his playstyle. Alright, let's start with the first question that everyone always asks in these kinds of videos and that is does he need awakened and while the answer is technically no I do recommend the dupe and high or max sig if possible because the duration of his forms is increased by sig level makes maintaining them a lot less stressful it also gives him access to a pretty decent regen which makes him more sustainable especially if you're running the recoil tree Okay, let's jump right into some gameplay. So Absorber Man doesn't really have a specific rotation that you need to learn. This is something that I think makes him very versatile. That being said, there are two main things that you still need to do throughout the course of a fight. The first thing you want to do is keep your current form paused. And you can do this by doing either light attack intercepts or by baiting out a heavy and interrupting it or countering it with a light attack. Every time you successfully do this, you're going to apply a vulnerability passive as well, which is going to increase your overall damage output. If your form falls off, don't panic. You can reactivate it to or switch to the other form by using the appropriate special attack. This brings us to the second thing that you need to do, which is heavy countering and heavy canceling. Once you have a special attack ready that matches the form you're in, either beta heavy or a special and then counter that attack with your heavy and cancel into your special attack after the first hit. Doing this is going to massively increase your crit rate for the entire special attack and this is where you're going to see some nice damage. So this is without a doubt the trickiest part about getting used to playing Absorbing Man because for some defenders you are really going to need a strong understanding of spacing, otherwise your heavy is going to whiff and you're going to get wrecked. And beyond that a lot of champs are going to require some fancy like Tiger style light attacks in order to close the distance and ensure the heavy connects. And I get it. That kind of play style is a huge turnoff to some folks because there is a very high skill cap associated with it. But with Absorbing Man, do not feel like you have to do this heavy counter stuff in order to play him. The crits are great, but you can get by just fine with parrying and then launching your heavy attack and canceling into your special. All right, quickly, let's take a look at what a full fight looks like uninterrupted. So to start baiting out a heavy, countering it with a light attack, then I'm going to do as many light backdrafts as he will cooperate with, and that's going to build up those stacks of vulnerability on him. So he's at a special one, I'm going to get ready to bait it out, heavy counter, cancel into my special one, and that's going to refine my form, give me access to the nice damage bonus. And from here, it's basically rinse and repeat. Keep using those light backdrafts, keep countering heavies with a light attack. As long as you keep up a bunch of those vulnerability passes, that's really where the bulk of your damage is going to come from. And then as long as you keep doing that as well, your, your, your form is going to be paused, which is going to give you continued access to the damage bonus on whatever special you have. And remember, keep using the special that's associated with the form that you have active. So Black Uru, use your special 1, Magma special 2. If you use the wrong special, it just switches your form, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, so Deadpool here about to go down. This fight takes roughly a minute or so, I think. Uh, he could have been a little bit more cooperative, but uh, I was also trying to get real fancy with, you know, showing off the heavy counters and whatnot, so... <laughs> Alright, I do want to show off two more fights here, and these are matchups which favor Absorbing Man's ability to automatically reduce the duration of Indestructible, Immortality, Unstoppable, and Unblockable buffs by 90%. So the first fight is against a Hulkling who normally goes indestructible quite frequently during a fight after you give him enough regens. But you're going to see with Absorbing Man, as soon as he triggers the indestructible, it basically goes away almost immediately, right after this special attack here. So right there, you can see it was so quick you almost missed it. Uh, this is going to significantly shorten any fight that you have with a Hulkling. So the next fight is Kingpin, and you're going to see the duration of the Unstoppable from his Heavy is so short that we still have time to use a Light Attack and pause our form. And if we push Kingpin to his Special 2, like I'm going to do here, the Unstoppable is reduced to less than a second, making it much easier to continue the fight. Now normally with Kingpin you have to wait out that Unstoppable, it's very painful because it's 7.5 seconds, but here he throws the Special 2 and the Unstoppable goes away almost immediately, allowing us to counter and end the fight quickly. 
Okay, one thing I haven't covered yet are the two different forms that Absorbing Man has. Now you can select a form using the pre-fight screen and it will last for the entire quest unless you switch it to the other one. So the first form is called Black Uru. It lasts for 10 seconds and is activated by using your special one. So in this form you get immunity to shock and bleed and increases your physical resistance by a hefty amount uh, and also switches your burst damage type to physical as well. The other form is called Magma. It lasts for 18 seconds. Notice the increased duration there, and that is because it's activated by your special 2 instead of your special 1. So in Magma form, you gain immunity to Incinerate and Frostbite and Cold Snap, increases your energy resistance, and changes your burst damage type to energy. So in general, you should pick a form based on either the immunities or resistances that you require for a fight, or the resistances of the defender that you want to take advantage of. So if none of these things come into play, I usually find myself picking Magma because the damage feels a bit better uh, between using the special two and all the passive incinerates that you can apply once you're in your refined form. Now, the immunities in these forms are important to remember because whenever Absorbing Man receives a debuff that he's immune to, including Armor Break, Armor Shattered, his forms are going to pause, and this is going to allow you to keep those refined forms up much more easily. Speaking of immunities, the last thing I want to cover about Absorbing Man today is his best synergy, and that is this one here with either Immortal Abomination or Immortal Hulk. So for Absorber Man, it grants him immunity to poison effects and a flat three second increase to the duration of your forms. Now, if you run Recoil, you can run Absorbing Man in Black Uru form with this synergy and you are covered from the Liquid Courage and Double Edge effects at the start of the fight. And then if you have him duped and at a decent SIG, you can use a medium light medium combo for a nice chunk of regen when his health gets a bit too low whenever you need it during a quest. So this synergy is also going to let you take hazard shift lanes in war, which is one of the things that he was designed to do. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If this helped you in any way, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from people who have found my guides helpful. If you've managed to stick it out this far, go ahead and leave a comment that says it's absorbent time in the comments. That would be funny. As always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.